Yeah, hello everybody. Thank you, Scott, for introduction and welcome everybody to the Point Sense Building session. Uh, my name is Christine Scheiber and I'm uh, the product manager of Point Sense Building. Within the next 20 minutes or 25 minutes, I will give you an overview to Point Sense Building, which is the Kubit solution for point cloud based building surveying. PointSense Building um, is our youngest member of the PointSense product family. It was released last year. Um, PointSense Building stands in one line with the other branch solutions, PointSense Heritage and PointSense Plant. It covers uh, the task of um, keep drawing buildings. So what can you do with PointSense Building? It is a tool um, for generating 2D line work plans from 3D laser scan data. It was specially designed for all customers who did building surveying with Total Station in the past on the present but want to use laser scanning now by keeping the workflows and the kinds of results. For instance, building uh, contains features for point cloud management. These are the same features you also find in the other branch solutions. Uh, then we have uh, numerous tools for efficient uh, semi-automatic drawing and we have tools for plan design. The results are classical building plans so as floor plans, elevations and sections. It is a AutoCAD plugin. That means you can combine it with all the well-known AutoCAD commands. Uh, and the other advantage of this is that it is very easy to learn if you are already an AutoCAD user. Um, for instance, building includes the following feature sectors. There is the feature set, set for importing, clipping and slicing the point cloud as a basis for working with the scanning data. Then we have the line and polygon fitting which is a real key, fe key feature of point sense building because it allows real efficient mold, mold line drawing. Then there is a large range of commands for drawing and annotation building elements. Uh, and we have the option to create also images from the scans uh, which is good for making uh, uh, face plans or section plans. Um, then we have the area data management for creating uh, fast room books and the planner, uh, planner scan view stands for uh, virtual self uh, which you have just seen uh, in the previous session. I would like to show you a few features using the example of a building floor plan. Uh, you also can recognize the typical workflow from the order of the features. Um, and we start with the first work workflow step which is uh, the defining of the slice. Um, after loading the point clouds into the drawing they need to be clipped for further processing. Um, therefore, I define a thin slice where we can see the wall controls very clearly. We need this point cloud slice as a preparation for the, for the fitting. Um, I'm showing you the feature by short video. Uh, you can see uh, the cloud is turned around, then uh, the slice command will be started and we have to say x, y because we want a horizontal slice and then we give it a thickness of let's say 20 centimeters and as a result uh, we see the run of the walls and everything as a thin um, point trace. We give it a name so we can later on um, bring this uh, view back and uh, it gets 
a color so uh, the wall runs are even more clearly to see. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Okay, the next step, um, I use the polygon fitting uh, for fast and efficient generating um, of the wall light lines. Uh, for the result, we can choose between lines uh, and polylines and as an option, we can force the walls to be perpendicular to each other. I would like to show you two different fitting commands. It is the fitting of straight wall lines and the fitting of irregular shaped wall lines. We start uh, with a straight wall. So the command fit outline plan is started and then we always click two points on each wall. Uh, we don't have to click exactly on the trace, just roughly, and uh, it always takes a narrow region between both of the points, and from the points inside, it calculates an average line. The lines are automatically extended to the room corners. Uh, now another room is done, and as we can see here, um, if we have a gap, uh, for instance, that door, then we can jump over that gap by using the uh, continue option. In this situation, uh, the fitting does not work very well because there are two less points, so we have the possibility to uh, switch the fitting off for a moment and then we switch it on again and go further on the wall. There's another gap because of the door opening. We say continue and fit the wall on the other side of the, the door. And in the end, we say close and uh, the room outline is uh, finished uh, in a very quick way. Okay, so we have the wall lines now. The next step in the workflow, uh, oh no, we have got the other, um, the other fitting uh, I want to show you. This is the, uh, an, an arc shaped wall line. The command is called uh, fit polygon with variable vert vertexes. Uh, and we have to click the rough run of the wall and the command finds the exact shape uh, by itself. In, in this way, we are working all our wall lines, and in the next step, uh, we have to draw and annotate all the building elements, like doors and windows, staircases, niches, or pillars. There's a wide range of commands uh, for that, and I will show you how to draw a door and a staircase. Uh, it will be combined with uh, the planner view of VirtuSurf, um, which we have seen before. That means uh, I am clicking the point cloud points not in AutoCAD but in VirtuServe and they are sent to AutoCAD. We are starting with the door. So we have the same room again and we start the door command and in the dialog, I just stop this, uh, in the dialog, um, there are different uh, measuring modes. 
the door can be defined in different ways, and in this, that case, we want to specify uh, two points on the on the wheel. And now it asks for the two room lines uh, where the door belongs to. And now we go to uh, virtual serve and clicking the two re reveal points. And as we see, um, it draws the door symbol immediately in the, the cat drawing. Now we need uh, another two points on the on the floor and in the uh, upper part of the uh, of the door and. Uh, after that, the door symbol is finished. Now I'm showing you how to measure a staircase. At first, we are uh, using the measure segments command for uh, a very quick measuring of all the um, step lines. With this command, uh, we can click uh, all the points for the step lines uh, one after in, in, uh, another without starting restarting a line command. Now we have all the, uh, the step lines and we start the staircase command. We are choosing the measure mode uh, existing steps because we just measured them. And now we have to give it all the lines for the um, boundary, the boundary lines of the staircase and after this we select the step lines and from this information the command draws um, typical staircase symbol by itself and after this, this uh, there's an annotation option uh, we want to annotate the rise and the going and for the rise, we have to measure two more points, which are points on the top of two steps. And um, after that, we can finish the door dimension. And um, the last point I want to mention in the floor plan workflow is um, the area data management. This, this is a feature that brings database functionality into your AutoCAD drawing. Um, it gives you all the room polylines with area data information uh, and it uh, by automatic detection. Furthermore, you can capture any uh, additional alphanumeric room data information and it is possible to visualize the different attribute values, for instance, if you want to color the rooms by their usage. Uh, you get a room book which is suitable for databases and, for instance, building has a lot of export functions for that room data to bring it in the different um, systems. This demo uh, shows you how to generate the room polygons by automatic room detection and fill in uh, some room attributes. You see uh, the same floor plan again and one of the rooms is already detected. You see the so-called label in the drawing, um, the room name and other information and you see the corresponding entry in that data tree. Now. Uh, a new room is done, uh, you see that it finds a wall outline uh, by itself just by clicking inside the room. Uh, object has some attributes like a room number and the usage and the floor covering 
and it has a file link attribute where, oh no, this is the room height. No, we have that file link attribute where, for instance, a photograph can be linked to the room. These attributes are completely user-defined. You can capture whatever you need. One of the attributes uh, has a visualization. Uh, you see the coloring of the room, and if you change the uh, usage, then the coloring changes as well. Now a third room is uh, done um, after generating the polygon. It asks now for all the attributes again, and we have uh, another covering because uh, another color because the usage is different. Um, last but not least, I will insert a legend that uh, describes the color codes and give uh, the total area the uh, use. The area data management is quite flexible and powerful, uh, and which attributes you, can, you capture is com completely up to you. Um, this you define before you start the capturing uh, process. So um, what you have seen here is uh, only an example. So that was the short introduction to floor plans. Section plans are generated in a similar way. Uh, first you are creating vertical slices, then drawing the building structure with polygon fitting, and uh, you complete it with, and annotate it with AutoCAD and point sense building commands. The last feature I am showing you is uh, typical for use for uh, elevation plans and building facades. It's the auto image um, uh, that you can create from a certain view on the point cloud. In the end you get a high resoluted photo-like raster image which can be used uh, to trace a CAD plan from and yeah, typically it's, it's used for uh, facade views or section views. This is just very uh, shortly. You can see uh, the point cloud and the uh, auto image, the result auto image, and uh, it shows you how to use that auto image for uh, drawing a plan on. In that case, only by using the normal AutoCAD commands. Okay, with this feature, the demo session finished. Let me um, summarize in a few words what Point Sense Building is. It is a tool for uh, fast and precise 2D plan generation from point clouds using lines and polygon fitting tools in combination with commands for building elements and area data management.